welcome to episode uh, 111 of Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. Um, what have we got tonight? Well, we've got Homebrew, which is basically unofficial games. It's, it's probably the easiest way of describing it. Um, games that were written after, more often than not, after the consoles had its heyday. And... Um, breathing new life into old consoles. So, I've just had to change one of them uh, at the last minute because it uh, didn't work. I just started it before the show and it didn't work. So, normally I check these to see if they work. So we've got nine games and uh, we've got one Atari 2600 uh, a couple of Game Boy Advance, some Game Boy, some DS. Ooh, I've not got the vertical screen sorted out. Um, s three Mega Drives, especially for Nutty Cluster, because she likes a Mega Drive. And um, one NES. No, SNES, not NES. So, there we go. Um, I think that's probably all the preamble you need to know. So let's boop across to the little screen and get cracking, shall we? Boop. There we go. Oh, look, you know, I didn't point it out when I had a big, big screen like I should have, but, um, but, but, uh, got my little pixel screen from Timu. And, um, that'll be flashing away, irritating you in the background. So, then, we're starting with, um, let's see, yes, they are sorted in alphabetical order by console. So we're starting with the Atari 2600. And um, it's a game called Joust Pong. So everyone likes a bit of Joust and everyone likes a bit of Pong. What could possibly go wrong? So um, we've got nine... We normally try and average about eight, but we've got nine in case some of them are not even games. Because it's it's even more, it's even more of a Russian roulette when you're picking homebrew games because you don't have cover artwork and stuff. I've just got them in a folder per console. And I look at the name and go, eh, it sounds like fun. And move it into the emulator. So um, literally could have anything, anything tonight. Uh, I'm going to be changing the screen everything, so let's just get that in there. There you go, Atari on a, on an, a, an old Atari-looking TV, like it should be. It's perhaps actually TV's perhaps a little bit modern, all things considered. But so the other thing is, we normally have some sort of issue with the controller for Atari. 2600 so let's get the controllers up and see what it's saying all right so then without any further ado let's uh, give this a crack and see what joust pong is i'm feeling it's pong with joust icons which one's me Oh, 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 lordy. Right, so, like Joust, where you have to press the button to flap, that's what you do with this. Oh. Oh, oh. Nope, I can't. Wow, that's really difficult to control that. Perhaps I need to use my other finger instead. Oh! <laughs> wow! Okay. Jinkies! Wow, okay. 
Let's have another go. What's that do? Oh, it's breakout. It's got a breakout in it as well. Jeez. Which is good because there's no way I can get. How do you, how do you even control this fella? Oh, have I set it for a two-player game? Because the other guy's not moving at all. What's what's the bear? Well, it's not moving. Oh, oh, it is moving. Right. I mean, that the computer control don't can't even get it. Does that damage me? I mean, I would say that's just rock hard. Right, so... I don't, I don't want to be on the receiving end of this because the, the one who's on the receiving end of the serve can't get it. Oh, oh, I got one back! No, 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 no! Don't! Oh, fucking pterodactyl. Wow! I can't believe how difficult it is. I don't get what the difference is, like, when I press up. So I think that's two-player, having the bars. I don't... I don't know what the Atari sign and the bear... I don't know how they're different. Get away from me. Oh. Oh. I mean, it's only the pterodactyl that's playing. Well, look, 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 we've had a go. Joust Pong! Rock hard! Super duper hard! Jeepers! Oh, wow. Okay. Let's move on. Um, well, oh, not your close to be so disappointed if you missed that one. Um, okay. Now, we're going to move on to one called Grimace's Birthday. And as it's based on the Game Boy, I didn't prepare a Game Boy screen either. I don't know. Um, oh, let's just hide that. Um, game Boy. There you go. 
with the obligatory. This has nothing to do with McDonald's Honest Governor. Let's have a look. Oh, what have we got? Well, let's just do start game. Oh, is this a skateboarding game? Oh, no. Well, assume it's a Game Boy Color then. Okay, so looks like we've only got a jump. Oh, we've got to avoid them. We don't have to pick them ones up. Just purple shakes then, is it? said something about kick flipping then and I don't know what my buttons are. Oh. oh how do I get up there now? Not like that. Oh bloody hell. Let's leave that one. Can't avoid the McDonald's, can I? Oh, and again. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. This isn't going right, is it? Sort of time that yes, I see the time now. The time that I'm running out of. Oh, there you go. Seven shakes. Does have a skull by it, to be fair. Now, should I be going this direction? Did it again. Run out of time out here. I need to get a shuffle on. Now I need to go back. Why, why do you not let me jump? 
Right, so, need to get over the that's it. Right and this way, I guess. Not getting as many shakes this time. I think I'm hiding somewhere. I'm gonna run out of time. All that falling. Saw one then. There we go. Oh. Oh, we're back at this bloody box. There we go. And we need to go back again. Oh, cock off. Shit. Oh, oh. We've got at least two now. Oh, it'd be a lot nicer if I could just jump straight rather than bloody grinding. didn't we? Ah, oh, fuck! Oh no! Oh, why is it dropping me down? I don't want to drop down. Yeah, yeah, I know. Unfortunately. Come on! No! Oh! oh. Oh, so that was good. Skateboard. So one assumes you grab onto that somehow. supposed to get on there? Do I jump on a balloon? Maybe, maybe I missed it. Oh, can pop them. Well, 
Oop. Let me jump up there, but for no reason. Oh, that doesn't look good, does it? A spiky parrot. No, I can't jump on it. Worth a try. King clock that made me just go, oh. Oh, on the upside, we've got more time. I've got more time. Oh, no. I was too busy watching the shake. I didn't notice if I got any points. Slide your feet. Good start, is it? Oh, it got me twice. Push me off. Oh, look. I think we're done. Um, that was Grimace's birthday on the Game Boy. Now we're going to shift away from the Game Boy to the Game Boy Advance, which means back back to this screen. Not this screen. What are you doing? This screen. Yes. Um, okay. So, Game Boy Advance. Um, the first one is going to be a game called The Hat Chooses the Wizard. Hmm. Don't know what that's going to have to do with anything at all. Oof, weird. Okay, so since uh, that's just... Yeah, it's working. Okay, so... Uh, 
well, well, what, what, what am I supposed to do there? That's not good, is it? You just say, you just say, right arrow, and A. Does it not? I believe it does. But when I do that, I drop into a pit, which is bad. And there are no... other controls. Uh, <laughs> Alright, I wonder if there's... Um, some sort of select or nope no select do the buttons other buttons do anything all right well, what does that button do let's try that um okay so I'm still confused so do we do we What the bloody hell's going on? Am I supposed to grab the A button? Uh, not the A button, the other block? Because I can't reach it. That. Why did it turn gold? What's going on? So we've got a shitty little jump. And we've got a, a, a flying hat. So why? Oh, right. Okay. So I wonder then if we're supposed to get right to the end and go. Aha! <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. Jeepers. Oh, it's not all as difficult as that. Okay. Oh, well, now what? Do we have to hit that? It's going to hurt me if I don't, isn't it? I think. Ah, okay. So you use your speedy movement to get past it. Oh, wow. Right. Can't touch the green things, you have to evaporate through them. Nope. So in that case, we need to... Oh, I didn't do it quick enough. There we go. So it looks like um, Naughty Cluster probably won't be able to join us tonight because she's got um, internet problems. Oh! Oh! Alright, how are we doing? How are we doing this? Nope. Feels like it should be it. Right, well, we can't jump that far. And I got up there a minute ago, so... Oh, piss off. There we go. So, it, it looks to me like... 
he needs to have some momentum. But that's not enough momentum. So, that's the only way across though. Because that's not high enough. Oh, there we go with momentum. Right. So, now, shame there's no audio with it. Okay, where are we going from here? feel it probably should be on these tree things but I can't get high enough to get them and there's nothing the screen doesn't move this direction so I feel that's probably not right so then well hat don't go high enough unless it's me not holding the button long enough nope Let's have a think. Let's have a think. Um, uh, I feel that brown thing's the right thing to be aiming for. Is there some... None of the other buttons do anything. And that doesn't go high enough, so. A jump shite. So why did that go so high? It's, it, there's no meters for s saving magical energy or anything, is there? Uh. Can I... So my only actions are magic hat and jumping. Can I jump a magic hat? Oh, oh, what's going on here? Right, right, that, that was weird. Is that some sort of mechanic that I can use? So, nope. So what's what's this business going on here? Why? Don't understand. Ah. Uh. I mean, to be fair, it took us bloody ages to get get it right for the first one, but I don't. I think we're doing it right. I just don't think we can do it. You see, right? What's going on here? Why is it? Can I? I can't actually move. And that. Mm. Feels like that that is something, but I just now 
I can't even get back up here. Um, okay, well, I'm not going to give it too many more minutes. Um, I think... Oh, I, oh, I wonder. <sighs> Can we... Like, use it like a double jump? Ah, okay. So, can I get through there, do we think? Nope. All right, all right, all right. Oh, make me bloody nervous. This, come on. Right, I wish there was a save point. I surely do. Let's try. Now, what we're going to do here, because I don't have any more jump left, so we're going to do a horizontal doobry what's it, aren't we? Oh, are we not? Oh no, right, okay, that's interesting. So, So we can't get through here with our hat. Well, we can. But how are we going to get over the hole? I don't want to fall down that hole. That would be very disappointing. Right, so we... Can we make it? No, we can't. Once it goes white, we're done. Two two jumps, by the looks of it. So, what we're going to do? What we're going to do? What we're going to do when it comes to it? We're going to fall back down to here and stop playing the game. That's what we're going to do. Oh, yes. That is what we're going to do. Uh, okay, there you go. Look. That was the hat chooses the wizard kept us entertained for a quarter of an hour or so um but we're moving on we're moving on to our uh next game by advanced game and it's going to be called toad ali awesome Toad Ali. Awesome. All right. So, let's have a look at So we've got a frog. And it racks up moves. Soon we'll go on for that. Okay, so then so oh, we can't touch the wall, right? We can't go down there either. Can we jump? No, we can't jump, right? What we're gonna do is this got us? Nope. How are we supposed to get over here then? I have a, I do have a jump button, but it just jumps me into the hole. Uh, 
<sighs> so jump, right? But moving left and right also jumps. So don't, I don't understand the, what's going on there. I, I'm feeling stuck. Can't jump on the rock. So, can't jump over whatever that is. So, what are we supposed to do? There's... <sighs> oh dear. Oh, excuse me. There's no settings. I have a tongue and a jump. And that's it. Oh, no, that's interesting. I've got a rewind. But that still doesn't tell me how to, what I'm doing. This must be something. It must, like the wizard's hat, it must pull you across gaps or something, surely. It isn't doing, though. Do you have to put... You have to be in a specific area. I mean, it could be just a mistake. Yeah, it is just a mistake. But... I'm at a loss. There's no point in restarting because... We're we're not we're restarting in the same place. So this is one of the games, which is why we've got right. So directionally, doesn't make any difference. Can't press two buttons at once. Uh, <laughs> I think we're going to have to give it up as a bad job. But not until I send him into a cravat one more time. Uh, um, I mean, I've run out of buttons to press. I don't, I don't have any combination of button that does anything it just dies it just dies so the shoulder buttons take you back and move them forward and move I mean, no, I was going to try and pull that towards me to make a step, perhaps, but it, it doesn't look like your tongue gets on it at all. Uh, I mean, can I, I wonder if I can, okay, well, well, that was new. Um. can't move up or down with that. And I can't stick to it there. Oh, fuck off. And I can't stick to it there, so I can only stick to it there. So, then... But when I fall down there, I die. Uh. 
Okay, well, not totally awesome. Um, but there you go. That was that. Um, so let's have a look uh, on the DS now. So let's head over to the uh, the vertical screen and see how bad it looks there. It doesn't look too bad. Let's turn that off for now because it's too big. In fact, we could just we could just resize it, couldn't we? Really? There we go. Let's bring it back. That's it. So, 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 we're going to play a game called Claw Express. Claw Express. Now, I don't know if it's um, cat related or what, but let's have a look. Claw Express. Oh no, it looks like a <laughs> it looks like a claw machine. Silly to say, I guess, because it bloody is. Um, right. Oh well. Let's have a look. We don't play um, DS as often as we should, and we certainly haven't played any um, homebrew for it. So let's hope it's not mouse-driven, shall we? Okay. Where are you going to work for me then, at all? Come on. Well, it's got it's got my pad as the uh, the correct thing in my bobber. Start and select don't do anything. Oh, oh, hello. Okay. Well, come on. There we go. And now what? All right. So, okay. Well, what's what's going on? Why? Oh, don't drop it. Don't drop the box. What's in the box? Okay, so. What are we trying to do? Are we trying to match up? Oh, I wonder. I wonder if we've got a vertical row of three, what would happen? Was that, was that a win on our count or, or what? See, that one just dropped back there. So why did that drop back there? Okay. Let's move. Oh. All right. Well, I've got no bloody idea what's going on here. We're getting points. So, all right. So the shoots at this left hand side, yes. I mean, look, it's difficult to program a, a computer game. Um, but it should at least tell you what you're doing. Let's clear the screen of envelopes. And then we'll... Um, we'll see what happens.
Bit of a boring game though, isn't it? I mean, don't tell anyone or anything, but it's not super duper. The claw. Come on, you're surprised it took me that. Play again. Okay, so that was the whole game. This isn't this this we won't be playing again. There you go, Claw Express. Um this is what I mean about a homebrew games being a, a Russian roulette. You just don't know what you're gonna get. Um uh, but we've had a look. We've checked it out, and that's the main thing. So we're gonna shift back to the main 80s telly. Uh it's that one, isn't it? It's it is. it's that one. And we're going to play some Mega Drive homebrew. So it's a shame Naughty Cluster couldn't make it tonight. She likes a bit of um, Mega Drive or Genesis, depending on where you're watching from. Um, okay, so... We're going to play our... Uh, our swapped out because um, the other game wouldn't start that was in its place, a game called Jelly Beans. We're going to play Dev Will 2. T double O. Um, possibly, possibly should have started with Devil One, but you know, you know. So this game is not produced, no licensed by Sega. Just so you're aware. Now we've played some Mega Drive homebrew in the in the past and it's been pretty good so i have uh, high optimistic hopes uh sisyphus oh no a homunculus is born okay so we've got a Slidey demon. He jumps, jumps and slides. So these two buttons slide. Okay, and that one does nothing, and that one jumps. Okay, so oh, and he moves very quickly. I was just about to say he doesn't need a lot of pressure on the joystick, and then it made my point for me by uh, letting him just <laughs> over the edge. So can I slide this guy? Yes, I can. How am I going to do these? The fastest. The way he moves. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> oh, oh, it's going to be that old game, is it? It's going to be that. Is there a slow option? What's a tube box? Why have we got no music? That should be playing music, shouldn't it? So, do we have the same issue that we had earlier on with the audio? Do we, do we, do we? Do I need to... Where would that audio come from? That audio would come from... Here. Okay, so... Would seem to suggest it's not playing any audio, which is bad. So we're going to just quit Open MU and restart it and see if we get audio back. I think that um, my computer had a bit of an audio brain fart. I think. What we should do is try a, a proper game first. Proper. You know what I mean. Um, boo. So, last week, we played um, Unplayed SNES. Um, so, let's just start one of them. So, we've got audio. Oh, I've got audio in my 
headphones. Yes, you've got audio. Right. So, we know that's working. So let's go back to our games for tonight. And start a Dev World 2. Uh, but no, we do not have music. Left and right selects the music. B plays it. Oh! Okay, so why did that not work then? Ah! There's not really any point in continuing, but we will anyway. Because we started right at the start and died instantly. For a change. Oh. oh there we go. That's better. Look at that music. Man. We don't need the story. Come on. Right. Didn't even jump on time. Oh. Oh, again. I'm not getting this at all, am I? He's just so fast. I want a run at half speed option, please. One more shot and then I'm done. It moves too quickly for my poor old brain. so long getting the audio working as well come on then one more go I mean it's not bad looking and all that but jeez Right, we've got three more games left. I have to play each of them at least half an hour to make even even just past an hour. Jesus. Um. Okay. Oh no, we're probably at about fifty minutes though, aren't we? Because I had to restart the recording. That's fine. Don't worry. It's not going to be super super short. Okay. Let's move on. 
Going to move on to a game called Pappy Commando. Okay, so. Pappy Commando. What on earth have we got going here? Okay. C++ camp, eh? Right. Let's go then. Pad one to move. A. A, B and C. I think it goes A, B and C in a U shape. So, let's go then. Well, we should start with the, the next zone on. Shall we? Kill the soldiers. Oh, okay. So, it is Commando. The game Commando. It's a variant of the game Commando. Oh, they run out of bullets. We save somebody. Well, I got the first one. How, how did I get the first one? What's he doing? Didn't go very well, did it? Oh, only got a knife now. <laughs> no, got some more bullets. Don't run into the, the van, the war truck, that's it, the war truck. It's bad for you. Touched it again. I think we've got to at least get the war truck, don't you? Uh. 
<laughs> Armor piercing bullets. Not close enough, not close enough. Ah. Killed all these guys before. Get it, can I? You've gathered my strategy for these sorts of games is to run forward firing at things. Didn't even get run over with it that time. Well, look, there you go. That was Pappy Commando. Didn't dislike that one. Um, is it my favourite so far? Yeah, I think possibly it might be, yes. Pappy Commando on the Sega Mega Drive. Uh, okay, so now our penultimate game. We're going to look at Radical Rex. Radical Rex. So uh, it was the nineties. There was lots of radical and all sorts of shenanigans. Let's have a look. Oh no, it's something on a mo. Well, it's Rex, isn't it? It's going to be a dinosaur on a skateboard. Oh, cute looking. It's, it's instant reactions, it's not that bad. So we've got a cruel rodent. So what controls do we have? We have kick. And jump, kick and jump. Whoa! Did I hear anyone say Sonic the Hedgehog? Right, I've got myself stuck, haven't I? <sighs> it was going so well. None of, whoop, none of these things are trying to kill me. So, I don't want to go down. Is there a way through anywhere? So, can I use any of these things to bounce on? Oh, right, we've got a bouncy plant. It's not enough to get me up there, though. Why is that? We've got some way okay. So still doesn't help, does it? I know we're walking back to the start, but I do I feel like Oh 
pants. Right, so we can't go any further that way now. Uh, perhaps I shouldn't have left my skateboard. Is there a? I wonder if there's um like a Sonic type jobby when you're moving. No, there's not. Right, here we go again. Oh no! Well, I wanted that. Where's my skateboard gone? There must be a way that if you lose your skateboard, that you can get. I mean, what? It looks like you should be able to get all that, doesn't it? See, and I can't jump halfway up because if I turn round, I slide back down. I wonder, am I using the wrong button? Yes, yes, I am I'm using the wrong button. Right, so. If only we could have done it that way in the first place, eh? Right, there's no jumpy type things there. So, what are our options? We can't, we can't do anything. It, it hurts us badly. Touching any of the buttons. But I have to get up there. I'm sure I burnt it before. There we go. Right, let's try this again. Oh, for f it's scratched. Oh, jeepers! Well, well, well. Let's move on to our last game. Um, before I break my controller. Uh, okay, so we're going to end with a, a SNES game called Nightmare Busters. Um, and the name kind of rang a bell. And I was going to say, I thought we might have played it before, but now I've just seen that screen. I don't recognise that. It's just the name that I recognise from somewhere. So... We all know how good I am at fighters. So a great one to end with. Ah, dear. Oh, we have played this. Wow. 
well, it's showing us not played. I wonder, I wonder when we played it. But I recognise the little leprechauns. This isn't the way. I got further than this last time. Oh, look at all the goodies. Come on, come on. That's not it. No way I'm getting across this. Nice. The um, the birds explode the same way as Phoenix the arcade game, or nearly, very similar, reminiscent of it. Well, I'm only giving it one go because we've played it in the past. I think possibly for a Halloween episode. And the problem is. Let's get rid of that. I'll tell you what. You know what time it is. It is. It's wheel time. Wheelie wheelie. Um, yeah, we've we've played... Um, we've played games in the past and then I had to re reset my open MU, which then means that I can't tell what we've played and what we haven't, um, which is... It's possible we might have played that on a different system. So, anyway, here is the wheel. So, um, let's give it a spin. 
and see what we're going to play next. Oh, next week. Next week. Yes, next week. Unplayed news. Okay. Let's have a quick look and see how long ago that was. That was... Oh, that was the end of March. So we, um, yum, yum, yum. Well, look, we've got a lot of... I said this last time, didn't I? We've got a lot of these things. And um, that's fine. That's fine. We'll just... Play unplayed Nez. Um, So there you go. That's the, um, the end of show 111. Um, if you want, you can email us. It's just there. Just, just there. Retro at snugradio.co.uk. Retro at snugradio.co.uk. That's the website, snugradio.co.uk. And um, if you're watching us on Twitch, thank you very much. Watching us live from 7 o'clock on a Monday. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, then um, you can come and watch us live on Twitch if you wanted and chat to us in the chat room and stuff like that. Uh so that's those two. And on there, we're on a Snug Radio. Surprisingly enough. Yes, I know. I know, right? Um, we're also on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. We have a Discord server. But wherever we are on the internet, you can find us usually as Snug Radio. So there you go. Um, when she's here, Nutty Cluster is moderator extraordinaire. And she has a design shop called Ink Inspiration. That's right. Um... That's, she, she's got loads of cool pop art type designs. Um, she did start on a designs featuring dogs. So if you have a favourite dog, then head over to her shop and see if she's already got a breed, got one, got your breed uh, in pop art form. That's Ink Inspiration, and that's on Redbubble. Um, I'll put a link uh, in the show notes or wherever you're watching this video. I also have a, a shop a design shop called The Glorious Idiot and that is on Redbubble and on Threadless uh, we do lots of different designs uh, um, yeah I I can't I've got design ADHD I, I just do lots of different stuff um, Tiki's retro stuff uh, it, cats drinking coffee at the moment and soon coming soon cats dressed as celebrities I don't know why. I just don't know. Um, anyway, that's uh, that's the glorious idiot over at Redbubble and Threadless. Um, the Threadless website actually does shoes. I've got some really nice pumpkin shoes, a pumpkin towel pattern shoe, which looks really cool. Um, I'm thinking of getting a pair for Halloween. That'd be nice. Um, anyway, enough about that. Uh, that's it for this week. Uh, did I say the Discord? I did say the Discord tonight. I don't know why. Um, so, without any further ado, <coughs> oh, excuse me. I've been Math. This has been Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. Till next time, play something retro. Bye.